Hi guys, Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com bringing you a nice little simple tutorial on how to replicate this home screen I made this morning. I called it Tiles Remix and the reason for that is because as you see we have our tiles here but a nifty little thing is what we can do is rearrange these tiles. Simple as that. Another cool thing about these is that boom, opens up different apps. Like that, opens up a calendar. What I've presided on the, on the side here is parts or segments so you don't have to watch the entire thing as I'll be going from stock launcher to this as well as everything you need in the description below. Let us begin. Okay great starting from our stock jelly bean launcher we have here if you have any launcher I'm sure it'll do the same thing we'll open up our Apex Launcher Pro. So next we're going to open up our Apex settings and go to our home screen settings. From here we can see that our portrait grid I changed to an 8 by 9 as well as our horizontal and vertical margin on none. We want to have hide our notification bar we don't want that we want to manage our screens we only want to have two screens on this when we go back we'll go to advanced settings and then finally change our overlapping widgets we definitely want overlapping widgets we need the pro version for that finally we want our dock let's we'll go down and we want hide dock awesome stuff all we need to do now is change the wallpaper and we'll do that in quick pick awesome app that quick pick and we'll go down to the one that we wanted to select there we have it and you just click save and there we have our wallpaper next we're going to move on to adding on the widgets from here awesome stuff okay great next we're going to move on to adding in our amazing new widgets first we're going to start off with our minimalist text and we want a three by two size now what we're going to do is well i'm going to show you is i'm going to restore one that I've already created and then I'll just see, tell you how I've created it. What I've done is gone predefined layout and you choose custom, always go for custom. And then within our custom layout, this is for my clock, added in my hour 12 digits, static text with the two dots, minutes and AM PM. Just a little give something a little style, I changed the text style and then we clicked OK. And you can see it's like that. All awesome and then we can resize it because we want another block next to it now the one thing you notice in the beginning is that I had things on the side here on the top that stopped it from pushing it to the side those were just minimalist text that were dragged down that I created and I made them blank or transparent so now from here I'm gonna add in all the rest of these as well as for both sides and all I did for the app side of this side was create a minimalist text widget and just created static text. Now I'm going to move on to adding in all of these. Okay, great. Once we have produced both sides over here, there's just one more thing I wanted to add. The one good thing about minimalist text is that you can open up something like, say, for a clock, for example. And the, rate, the way to do that is by opening it and then, say, start another activity and then select another activity. And we'll go look for clock. Once we have clock, you always want to look for something that says launcher. In other words, it'll launch the activity. So if we go OK and we tap it, boom, clock. Nice like that. Now you can do that for many apps except for one which is the app draw, which it kind of struggles with. Yours might be better. But here's a quick way of getting around that. We'll just resize it, add a new widget, and now we're going to be using desktop visualizer. Once we add it, we'll use a 2x2, two two, as it'll fit in quite nicely there, like that. And we'll choose a blank PNG because we don't want to see it. So find the PNG where you saved it. Next, you're going to say for actions, you go other and choose Apex Actions and you want the app draw. Finally, you'll clear the label, press OK and see it disappear. Now we want to resize it, but over the apps. And now we want to resize that one as well. And then resize the desktop, desktop visualizer again. If done right, tapping apps will bring up your app drawer. Simple as that. Finally, we'll just double check that everything moved around does move stuff around. And as you can see, it does. Let's see. And on this side as well, we can move around these like that. And boom, there you have your home screen completed. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and there'll be many more where these came from. Thank you very much, guys.